So the Warriors $1.5 billion arena facility here is finally built. I think it might be the most expensive metaphor ever because you guys are physically making this fresh start in San Francisco. Yeah. And then also really a fresh start on the basketball court. So much has changed for you guys. After three years as the Goliath of the NBA, what does it feel like to be the underdogs again? It's, it's weird, because um, obviously, like you say, we've got banners and looking up you know, the memories of our uh, organization you know, on the heels of five straight finals. You know, we're still hungry, we're still uh, capable of winning a championship, and it's gonna look different, uh, but our culture and our, our DNA remains the same. This part we're standing in now is the BioFreeze Performance Center, which is where you guys are gonna practice every day. And look, you're gonna give me a little tour, but I do wanna ask you about someone who didn't come over here with you to be in this building, Kevin Durant. What did you think of him deciding to go to the Brooklyn Nets? Kay, you know, made a decision for himself, and that's, you, you can't argue that. Um, if I wished, yeah, I wish we could play with Kay. He's an unbelievable talent, unbelievable person. We accomplish a lot together. Um, but, uh, you know, things, things have, have changed a little bit, so. We've got the battle down the road, so it should be a fun new experience on that front, too. What did you think of the magazine article and the interview he just gave, where he gave some quotes about the Warriors? He said, over time, it felt like, quote, nobody could get a full acceptance of me there. What did you feel when you read that? I mean, that's tough. There's so many narratives that go on, especially when you're at the top of the league. But at the end of the day, I think he knows you know, what we were about as teammates, what we were about as friends on and off the court. Whatever he you know, needed to do to make that decision and, and however he wants to explain that, uh, you know, that's what's going to happen. The other quote that caught a lot of people's eyes is he said, the motion offense we run in Golden State, it only works to a certain point. He talked about it working for the first couple rounds of the playoffs, but not as much after that. Well, I don't even really care what plays we ran. We won two championships. We talked a lot about it throughout the, you know, the three-year run. Um, the word sacrifice mm -hmm. in terms of, you know, playing a little bit differently than we all have been accustomed to over the years. We all want to play iso ball at the, at the end of the day, at some point, <laughs> shape, or form. But uh, I'd rather have some championships too. France beat us. Doesn't matter who is on the team. If America doesn't bring an A team next year, they will get beat again. You were not over in China with Team USA, so then the question that follows is, will you be with Team USA when they go to Tokyo next summer to try for that Olympic gold medal? That is the plan, for sure. Uh, you know, obviously, knock on wood, you don't want to, you know, So you're committing, you're, you're, willing, you're gonna go. Definitely wanna go. That's something that uh, I've never experienced. I've never been on the Olympic team. I've been on two world, World Cup championship gold medal team, but uh, the Olympics is the experience that I want, and next year it will hopefully be it. All right, well, before we get to next summer, you've got this coming season. Give me a little BioFreeze Performance Center <laughs> tour here. Oh, what can yeah. we expect? One thing on this court I thought was crazy is you might see there's cameras stationed around here. Uh, they have facial recognition software so that when you're taking practice shots, it will recognize that it's you as opposed to Clay or someone else and it will know where you shot from, whether your shot went in or not, and they'll keep all that data for you. That's big time. I've always been interested and curious about new technology and the, the, the game of basketball and how it can make us better. Um, that sounds out of this world, so I'm excited to kind of see what that looks like. Let's go Watch walk through play. the rest of the place. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so this, there's some pretty cool discoverable pieces in this thing. Okay, what do you got? So if you walk in here and you look up, this is the oracle design in the ceiling right here. So a little blending of the old and the mm -hmm. new. Nice. Well, if you can, you see my locker. It's actually kind of grimy and messy. So I, I ruined the whole vibe of the locker room. <laughs> nice laundry on the floor, by the way. Yeah. So really, working you're... on we, it's kinks. We got to work out the systems. I don't know where the laundry bins are here. So all right, what do we got back here? Right over here is where we kind of take the treatment up to another level with yeah. our hydrotherapy room. So basically, you can step in here. Uh, right in between the rails, and that treadmill starts to go, and you can run in place underwater. So this moves underneath? It does. This is where we get clean after games. Hopefully we get to wash off them winds. <laughs> I don't know if there's such thing as like regulation size showers, but for our seven footers on the squad. Oh, that's amazing. We probably have the highest shower head, the tallest shower heads in the, in the league as well. Uh, for me, the water gets cold by the time. By the time it gets right. to you. So it's all good. I'll just have to figure it out. They didn't design that for me. We're gonna come over to the Warrior Bar. We got a whole kombucha station over here. This we got is amazing. Four, four different flavors. 
You gotta get the perfect tilt on the pour. Right. So if your basketball career doesn't work out, you could be a bartender. I could do that. Look, we should... We'll see how it goes for you. Look at that right there. There is already a debate over your usage this coming season. Should they sort of load manage you so you're fresher for the playoffs? Should they use you a lot so you maybe have another MVP season? What do you want? Uh, I want to be smart about what I'm doing. And at the end of the day, winning an MVP would be special. And it's something that uh, I've experienced before and would love to experience again. You've experienced it before twice. Yeah, I, mean, I would love to uh, to uh, push the push the envelope and push the limits a little bit. Can you give me one word for what's ahead of you? Uh, I gotta give you two words. It's right. exciting and fresh for us to hopefully get, you know and enter this uh, this new facility and this new building uh, the right way, uh, and hopefully recreate the atmosphere we had at Oracle. Uh, I'm excited about that for sure. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.